Today, we're going to go over a cool feature in PowerPoint called Presenter Coach. This has been around for a while, but I never bothered to use it because I was practicing my presentations with my colleagues in the office. Now that I'm working from home, I don't have anybody to practice with. I have opened PowerPoint on the desktop app, and if you go to the Slideshow tab, you will see several options, and one of those is Rehearse with Coach. Click on that, and the presentation will open up in full screen mode. At the bottom right hand corner, you will see a welcome message with a button to start rehearsing. Now that the rehearsal coach is turned on, I'm actually talking to my PowerPoint slides and it's listening to what I'm saying and evaluating me on several criteria to determine if I am giving a good presentation. For this demonstration, I left the checkbox and show real-time feedback. And what that does is as the coach is listening, it will occasionally pop something up in the window, letting you know if you're doing a good job or need to change something. I personally find this distracting and usually turn it off. Notice the microphone in the presentation coach window. This allows you to pause the coaching session if you need to gather your thoughts. When you click past your last slide, the rehearsal coach will turn itself off and then present you with a rehearsal report. It gives you a lot of key information such as a summary that tells you how long you spent rehearsing and how many slides. It lets you know if you used any filler words or repetitive language. It tells you whether or not your pacing is good. So for example, I have 133 words a minute. That seems to be a good pace. If you look at the pitch graph, it looks like I may have been a little bit monotone in my delivery. I might want to take a look at that. Now I'm going to transition to the PowerPoint web app. And this is one of the few occasions where the web application has more features than the desktop application. So let's navigate to the Slideshow tab to find the Presenter Coach one more time. Click the drop-down next to Rehearse with Coach and you will see the option to put a check mark next to Body Language. When your camera is turned on, the Rehearsal Coach will give you feedback about how well you are maintaining eye contact with the camera as well as how close or far away you are from the camera. I'm going to fast forward past this rehearsal so that you can see the report. There's going to be some of the same information you saw before, but there are also new categories in the web app. The two main differences are the body language and the pronunciation guide, which are not available in the desktop version. Now, if I look at the body language section, you can see that I made good eye contact, but there seems to be a problem with the distance. PowerPoint is giving me two screenshots so that I can see one is too far and the other one is good. If you feel like you need more practice, just click on Rehearse again until you're happy with your presentation. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it useful, and I'll see you in the next video.